Yeah, Ohio and Florida used to be the sole focus of the candidates heading into this final weekend, but this year there's almost a whack-a-mole approach to their campaigning as they pop up all over the country. In the past, the final days leading up to a presidential election have been a celebration of Cleveland, as this was the spot Democratic hopefuls especially came in the final hours of their campaign to make their closing arguments, usually with friends. We're here to support the president, the vice president. Rock and Roll Hall of Famer Joe Walsh at the Wolstein Center for the Clinton-Gore ticket in 96, and Bruce Springsteen on Mall C in 2004 for John Kerry, using their musical celebrity in an attempt to swing this swing state. I've been, uh writing about America for 30 years, who we are, what we stand for, what we fight for. Now, these ideas are what's at stake tomorrow. It's a role Springsteen would reprise on the mall in 2008. Well, here in Northeast Ohio. This time for Barack Obama on the Sunday before the election. All of you can give this country the change we need, and it starts right here in Ohio. Starts right here in Cleveland. And four years ago, Jay-Z co-hosting a concert at the queue for Hillary Clinton with the then reigning king of the arena. Get your family out there and vote, man, because this is the most important day of our lives. This year, though, there is nothing in the pipeline, in part because of COVID, but in larger part because the 2020 electoral map is a lot wider, says ABC News political director Rick Klein, with our neighbors to the east in the Commonwealth, enjoying this year the spotlight that once was ours. Now there are other paths, uh, Florida, uh, Georgia, uh, North Carolina, Arizona, even Texas, Iowa, Ohio, all of them are potential opportunities for Joe Biden and different ways to stitch together that coalition. But uh, if you're just looking at one state, I still want to know what's going to happen in Pennsylvania. Now, interestingly enough, the purpose of a rally is, of course, to rally, to light a fire under your supporters, get them out to vote on Election Day. But given the volume of early voting that we are seeing on both sides in 2020, no extra incentive is needed. In Shaker Heights, John Kasich, News 5.